Very nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, okay Nick, first of all, if you can present yourself, yeah, I actually originally studied uh, physiology, so human physiology, and I my first career uh, before you know entrepreneurship and technology was in um, performance training and strength coaching for athletes and and then general population. So I trained people, I trained uh, athletes and helped them perform, and quite a bit different than technology, obviously. But um, yeah, that was my first career. Uh, so Founders Live is a global platform and a community for entrepreneurs and founders all around the world. We inspire, educate, and entertain entrepreneurship, and that's through uh, both an online platform and community that has a, a bunch of different information, uh, videos, articles, a lot of education, but a lot of ability to people for people to connect. Um, they can you know chat with each other and really learn and understand what other entrepreneurs are doing to be successful. But we also have our pitch events, and these are physical events that happen in about, about 50, 55 cities, depending on the, the, the day and the month. But we've definitely reached that like 50 city level um, in 23 countries around the world. And these are you know social gatherings. They're usually once a month, and we pre-select five companies, and they each pitch for 99 seconds, and then they have four minutes questions from the audience. And after all the presenters have pitched, then the crowd, the audience, votes on a winner. And it's really great. And you know, we're starting to live stream these events. So the vision is really to create this global platform and system to encourage, inspire, and grow entrepreneurship in every corner of the world. And so we're, we're, we're halfway there, we're getting there, and it's, it's really exciting. Yes, I learned so much more from my mistakes. And I would tell any founder and entrepreneur that you, you just got to make them. And you have to be, well, you at least have to understand that the failures that happen early in your career and in maybe your first startup, those failures are the lessons that you will learn of maybe what not to do or just to what to expect. And, you know, I think that that was the big thing is the first co company, if not the second one, I didn't really know what to expect and so the decisions I made based on some of those things that I didn't know were happening uh, led to that that company not being successful and so you know third time around you kind of know what to expect and you know as you've watched other successful companies and founders that I'm actually close with you just pick up you know those those tips uh, but yeah it's, failure's gonna happen I actually consider it just learnings and it just it really makes you a better entrepreneur and a smarter entrepreneur, but they're gonna happen. I remember the earliest days that I wanted to be an entrepreneur was back in my previous career when I really started to feel that my impact wasn't, I mean, it was direct with people, like small amount of people, but I really wanted to create things and impact people around the world. I and mean, we're talking about millions of people. And so it was probably, you know, I would say late, 20s for my age, you know, in the late 20s that I started to feel like I wanted to do something different and I realized that it was going to come from me creating my own company. And so, yeah, probably late 20s, I started to get that feeling and it took me, um, shoot, four or five years of going from one career and like studying and learning another industry to actually flip into starting what I now call like my entrepreneurial journey. And that was like for five years. And then it's been a, almost, it's been nine years, almost 10 years since the moment I created my first startup to today. So we're talking about a 15 year span of time to go from when I really determined I wanted to be an entrepreneur to now like seeing things happen and, and really grow. So Founders Live, I discovered that there was some significant uh, holes in the market of entrepreneurship and it really started, you know, when you think about, when you look at Founders Live right now and you see that we have events, well, I pretty much put on the very first event in Seattle in 2014 and it was just one event. And, you know, the way I described, you know, it was a, it was an event, we had food, drink, music, we had, we pre-selected five early stage founders and they each pitched. 
for 99 seconds and then four minutes of Q&A from the audience. And at the end, the crowd voted on which one they thought was the best. And that was the very first event in March of 2014. And I just kept putting that event on in Seattle after that and people kept showing up and it was growing. And what happened was over time, I discovered that there's something unique here. People really enjoy this. But more importantly, I started talking to other entrepreneurs in other cities and countries. And I realized that they lacked a lot of this connection. They, they lacked information that was appropriate and, and helpful to build their company. They lacked access to capital to grow their company. They lacked access to just a, a network of founders that are doing the same thing, maybe around the world. And lastly, they lacked a, a global reach to um, reach more users, possible investors, and an audience for their products and services. And I realized, wow, there's actually a very huge opportunity to really bring inspiration and education and a global reach to founders and people all over the world. Like, why was this not available? And so I launched Founders Live officially in 2016. Uh, we took that event that was happening in Seattle, created the company around that, created a global platform and a social you know, community and platform, that's founderslive.com. And then we started you know, launching new cities. And we discovered that this event is really a celebration of entrepreneurship. It, people love it, no matter what country you're in. It's absolutely, the formula works. And we realized that people desire entrepreneurship and opportunities to be successful and grow their company. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. And that is why I started Founders Live and wanting to really help businesses and people around the world be successful. And so it's just been humbling to see something start so small in Seattle and now turn out to be something that is in many, many countries and, and across many oceans around the world and it's just continually growing. It's exciting and um, so anyone out there listening and watching, your ideas, just take them, refine them, see what's working, and then build a vision and growth around that. Mm -hmm.